Hello everyone! Welcome back to The Handmaidens! Oh my god, today's a really good day, isn't it? It's a good yeah. day. Yeah. It's Good Friday. That's how good it is. And it's even better than Good Friday because today we passed the 100 mark! Woohoo! Yep, we're all excited. We got a really great um, show. Can we call it a show? Sure. We got a really great show for you today. Today we're going to make paint. We are going to make paint in all colors of the spectrum. And speaking of spectrums, it is National Autism Awareness Day today. So, hello to everybody that knows somebody or loves somebody on the spectrum. We love you, brilliant people. Okay, yep. So I made this. We're going to learn how to make this. We're going to make a whole bunch of it. We're going to try all different things today. It's a learning day. It's a great day. It's a great day to see you and know you and be with you and offer you this super thing. Here's what we're going to do in honor of this special day where we are over 100 subscribers. If you comment below today on this video and write, I subscribed or I am a subscriber whatever floats your boat we will take the names of the people who do that put them in a hat and we will draw a winner in which the handmaidens are going to send you a handmade gift surprise how do you like that we decided to do that and when we reach 200 we will either draw two people or Maybe we'll draw, give two gifts to one person. We'll see. We'll keep on doing that right up till we hit the one, the desired 1,000 when we can start to go live. Uh, should we do it to a million? No, we can't do it to a million. I'm not sending out a million gifts. I can't do that, but I can do it this time. So put your name under the video in the comments below and write, I subscribed. And you can just subscribe today. I don't care if you were a subscriber before or whatever. I subscribed. And we'll see who wins, okay? And we make some really great stuff at The Handmaidens. Right now we're showing you all these things that everyone can do. How-tos and things like that. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to my cousin Becca, who got married recently to the love of her life, Brett. Uh, many happy returns and many, many, many years together. I hope you're you're enjoying a uh, honeymoon, maybe. I don't know if there's honeymoons in pandemic time, but whatever. Shout out to you. Got my tea. You want to get your tea? Go get your tea. Go get your, get a beer. It's Friday. What the heck? Oh, wait. Good Friday. Maybe you should get a beer. I know. Get some wine. Red wine. Um, I'm going to get a nice... It says, powered by plants and coffee. I got this as a gift from my daughter, Laura. Um, I got tea in it, though. Yogi tea. Mm -hmm. Passion flower, because we're passionate here. Um, so anyhow, mm, that's delicious. Today, what I said, we're going to make paint. Why are we going to make paint? We're going to be dying Easter eggs, probably. Many of us will be. Well, because... <laughs> it's spring break and you might have well, it's been spring break for a year I think um, for those of you that are going to school remotely but um, for those of you who are not the kids are gonna be home um, and you might want to have some projects I got some activities uh, planned up for Monday for some certain people I love that we're gonna be using paint yes this is tempera paint not to be confused Fused with shrimp tempura. Mm -hmm. I'd rather be making that, but we're making paint. So it's really easy. If you know anything about paint, um, you know that in the Renaissance period, some of the greatest painters known anywhere, uh, Rembrandt, Da Vinci, whoever, they, they uh, painted with egg tempura. And this is not gonna be egg tempura. I'll tell you how to make that. Maybe I'll do that in a different video. I'm not interested in doing that today because the egg tempura goes, doesn't last as long. You got to kind of use it up. So I want something that's going to last because we're not even going to use this right away. We're going to make bunches and bunches. So here we go. Here's what you need. You need flour. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put this right in the blender. I tried mixing it by hand and it doesn't come out the consistency. 
Here is the green paint I made. And that is the perfect consistency of paint. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. I didn't need to make green because really all you need is three colors. Your primary colors, right? You need, what are they? What's your primary colors, Mondo? Red, blue, and yellow. That's right. And what can you do with the primary colors? Uh, mint them and make other colors. Mix them and make color colors. We can mix blue and yellow to make the green. So we didn't really need to do that. So the first thing you're going to need is a cup of flour. I've got actually unbleached flour here still cooking around. I don't bake much. I almost all my flour is for crafting. So don't worry about, don't get all, Mono gets all nutty when he's measuring stuff. He wants it exact. And I'm like, relax a little, Mondo. Don't worry so much. Good enough is good enough. Boop, in we go, right? And then we're going to use one half a cup of regular table salt. We're going to have some, I thought I had some open here. I guess this is open. And we're going to use a half a cup of table salt. Is that, we getting close, Mondo? Oh, don't hit me. Mondo's good. He said, wait a minute. Let me see that mine. Be careful. Okay. Half a cup of table salt right in there. Doop. Yeah. You would you chill out, dude. Okay. Then we're going to use regular tap water. Boil it first. If you're going to keep this for a long time, because you don't want bacteria in there. And we use about a cup and a third in there. Mm-hmm. Yep. About. About. Learn that word. About. Mondo. Oh, my God. All right. A cap. What's a cap full? What's about a tablespoon? A cap of vegetable oil. Yep. I hate a cap. You hate a cap because it's not exact, right? It could be any cap. And a cap of dish soap. That's all you need. Okay. You can mix this by hand. You can do it and do it and do it, but you want to have it. Paint should be, have a good consistency. Well, now we can't use, now we can't use the cap because I got the wall. We're going to wash the cap because this is dish soap like you wash the dishes. So we're going to be good. Yeah. There we go. Then we're going to put it on the blender. And. Um, Don't get that. Mm-hmm. And we're going to, you don't have to use, and I, and I will show, we'll try something without uh, food coloring because you can use all food, household things that you have, different foods and stuff. Um, this is even with food coloring, this is pretty non-toxic because the food coloring is designed to go in food. That's my blender. Let's give it a good blend. Let's see. That looks a little soupy to me. I don't think I like that. You know what? Check that out. I'm just going to add more flour because I don't like how that is. I like a nice thick paint. Ah, watch this, Mondo. This will probably give you a heart attack. Oh, uh, oh, 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 my scoop's going in there. I'm just pouring some in. How's that? You might want to. Make that a one and a half cups of flour. How's that? Yeah, because that's not wasn't thick enough. Did I forget my actual recipe? Maybe I did use one and a half cups flour. Who knows? Don't. So, yeah. One and a half cups flour. So let's change that. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Okay, are you still watching? Okay, we're going to try making, I'm going with blue uh, this time because I want to take blue paint and that green paint and make my favorite color. See if we can't make some turquoise paint. But let's make blue first because we're going to need that if we're going to try and make purple because purple needs blue and red. Doesn't really come out very good often. Oh, there, that's that's some paint, people. Gorgeous. 
Okay, Mondo. Go ahead. Whoa. I never put my apron on. I'm going to be covered with stuff. Here. Go ahead. Put some blue in there. How much? Ah, whatever. Whatever. How much? Ha, ha, ha. 33 and one quarter drops. Figure it out. What feels good? How's that? Look at this. I got a new apron. Because it was on clearance. And it's an absolute. And I'm trying to. I'm like, what does that even mean? WF. Needs a T. I W F U most whatever. This is cause I can't pass up sales. I was at a fabric store. Okay. Well, that's not another fun mono. Go ahead, enjoy yourself. Oh, go ahead, start it. That's the best part. Let's see what you're making. Let's see what you're making. Oh, I got it. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can anybody see this? See this going in? Go ahead. Look how pretty that paint color is. You got to get all the sides because it's all down in there. Yep. What do you think? Do you need more? We let that white or white blue. Yeah. Do you want to put more in? Go ahead. You can put more in. Yeah. Go ahead. We're having fun. Part of the fun before the painting part is the making of the paint. Yeah. That is the fun part, right? Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to take, I brought out my brushes because I was going to paint, paint a little something here. And, uh, but I got my, what your letter with? So then I said, oh, I guess I better write something, right? But I wanted to give it, give it a little, give it a little sky looking look oh pretty 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 there we go mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay we got blue now when i did and i must put that brush in my tea what i did was save some bottles these were from insure um that we could use these i also have Oh, I'm going to make a big one of this. That's right. I got these. Mono found out that we had three containers with the primary color caps on. Ha ha! So they're all ready. But of course you can label what's inside by taking a tag or a piece of paper. Just painting on so you know the color that's in there. Okay, now I'm going to... You need a funnel. I need a funnel. Don't forget. Don't forget the funnel, right? The funnel. Because we're having fun. And I'm going to make a mess anyhow. You watch, because this is not easy to pour. Now, hold that. Hold the bottle and the funnel. Yeah. And, you got that? I think. There we go. Oh, that's a pretty color blue. Pretty, pretty, pretty. It's thick, so it goes down a little slow down the funnel. But trust me, it's worth it. Mm-hmm. Yep. We got a lot... A lot of pouring to do. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because we got a lot of paint to make. So what I thought is, uh, yeah, what a great way. If somebody comes over and has to work next week and they ask you, hey, do you mind watching the kids for me while I work? And you're like, oh, my God, what am I going to do with kids? Mom. Mom. What, what, what? I got it. No. But I didn't get it. Did I, I spell did I get you? I don't think I need oh, oh. slow down. Slow down. Okay, well here. Let's just let it let's just let it rest a bit. Okay. Okay. So um, you know, this is something you could do if you're unexpectedly babysitting some kids and you could make the paint as an activity. Give them some paper, give them some cardboard, and paint away. You know, those paintings that were made with the egg tempura were painted back in the 1300s and they're still around today. Isn't that cool? That cool. That's a pretty color. Yeah. But I don't want to use all of this stuff because I want to try. I'm going to take a spoon of this because I'm, we're having fun. And I'm going to put just a spoon in the green and see. It's going to be 
not exactly what I want because I don't have any white. And I had to figure out what we're going to do about white. But I think I have a solution. We have white. We do have white. So, remember, a cup or a cup and a half of flour, right? A half a cup of salt, table salt. One cup to one and a third cups of water. About a tablespoon of oil and a tablespoon of dish detergent. That's the recipe and some coloring. Okay? You can use food, what, did we drip? Yeah. You know there could be kids watching over there, potty mouth. Okay, oh, so we're gonna turn, stir this in. Is it making? Not making the color I want. That green was pretty intense. Yeah. You really need some white in here to really get it going. But here, you know what? I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna put a couple drops of blue in here and see if I can't make turquoise. Probably need some white to lighten it up. But here we go. Um, it's coming slowly. That's not quite what I'm thinking. Let's leave that there. Maybe we can get a white in there later. Okay. So, we got that. Let's make another color. Let's try it again, okay? One more time. You might be getting bored. I'm getting paint on this beautiful apron of mine. What it's there for. Um, red. 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 Woohoo! Red is hard to make because red is a very translucent color. Um, red paints. If you're painting your house red, you're not going to find a lot of colors that do that cover without you're going to need lots and lots and lots of coats. So um, this is probably with the with the base we have here. It's probably going to come out pinkish. It's my guess, but I don't know. Where did I where my measuring cup go? Here we go. I'm guessing. Give me a give me a spot. Okay, I'm gonna go a little over one, right? Let's try it at one and a half. How's that? How's it? How is it over there? Yeah. You? Yeah. Just kidding. Is that good? Yeah. yeah, it's good. Good enough. Deal. All right, there we go. Back in the blender. Like I said, you can sit how whoop. All the kids can stir by hand, but you'll probably have to clean up for a week after because the flour is going to be everywhere. Um, right. Salt. There it is. I have an open one here. Salt. Half a cup of salt. There we go. Here we go. I got a matching pot holder to this stupid <laughs> to the stupid apron. Let's take it down a little bit. What do we got here? Uh, we're over one and a half. Take it down a little. Okay, and in we go, and let's, where's the top? I lose my head if it wasn't attached, people. I don't know about you. Well, let's try it again. We're going to let her go. These are, what are we do? What am I doing? Okay. There you go. Let's see if this is like pudding. You know, you can actually use... Oh, that is a little thick. That's a little on the thicky side. Um, you can actually use pudding if you want. Uh, for kids, you can use pudding. You can use yogurt. This is going to go bad, though. But you can, if you want them... If you think they're going to eat it. Um, I had a thing that I'm like, Whoa, here. Let's make red paint with Tabasco sauce. Now to see if they'll eat it. <laughs> and then I said, Abuela, be nice. You would eat it. 
Be nice. Don't do that. Okay. Another thing when you're subscribing, don't forget to hit the bell for notifications so you can get to see. We really want to you not to miss out on anything because I think these are things that are going to be really helpful for you. Ways that you can have fun, ways that you can, hey, we're using all these are reusable things. Well, you can reuse old plastics. We got a, this is a applesauce jar. These are creamers, creamer jar, coffee creamers. And sure, we got a few coffee creamers. Yep, that's a coffee creamer jar. And move that out of the way. Yeah, so we're learning ideas that help everybody get by, get out of the boredom. You know, you go like, well, it takes too much time to do that. Oh, really? How much time does it take to go shopping, to go, to get stressed out? Or, oh, I can't stand stuff like that. Yeah, these are things that make you feel good because there's nothing feels better when you're creating your own stuff. Okay? There's something in the... Cre there, you know, it's a double, double whammy. Something in the creative process that makes you feel like, you know, you really, here. Okay, well, I guess we could use it all. Got a lot. There's a little lump in there. That's all right. That's okay, because it's all going to break down. What? Here, go ahead. I was wondering. What's that? Do you think you, you like... You could probably use any batter. You're right, you could. You could make pancake paint. <laughs> right? Yeah. And have pancakes. Hey, I think I'll have some pancakes and then I'll paint a mural. How's that? Uh -oh. oh, you used it all? Uh, the I precious did. red. Go ahead, stir it. You I, did it. Let's I see. Did. This is going to be pretty. Go ahead, stir it up. What's it got? Oh, that looks like strawberry swirl. Mmm, that looks delicious. But my guess is it's going to come out really red. Yeah, it is pretty red. I don't, I don't know. If you get mixing it, my guess is going to pink up. It's hard to get red, deep red. You know they use uh, lice in the old days, and they crushed them up, and they made... Uh, they made red. We still use that in like cayenne pepper, yeah. In cayenne. Yeah, in cayenne pepper, yeah. Little bugs crushed up for the color. A lot of the medieval colors were made out of stones, precious stones that were crushed and ground up. Um, and other sorts of L roots and things like that. And they made really earthy tones, real natural looking tones. These don't look so natural, do they? Because they're they're kind of man-made, man-designed. They're they're not um. You need a lot of red. A lot of red, but that's still we get the picture. That's still a nice color. That's still a nice color. I bet you. I bet you. Let me take my brush here. Let's see. Do the. Here. A little thin, but it's nice. It's still you need a few coats. I got a I got a bad brush here. When I paint, I paint in many coats. That's a good idea. Um, because you want to have layers. Let's put a little tulip here. There we go. It's a little tulip. Yeah, some, some other flowers flowers there we go let's put some flowers 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 oh there we go happy i'm trying you see what i'm trying to get at but yeah it, it's got some coverage it is might not be the same as store-bought acrylic paint but it's good you just put more layers here we got some more paint in there Ah, oh, there we go. More dye, rather. Food coloring. It's not really dye. You can make dyes out of natural products, like I said, by cooking them. You cook your 
and then you evaporate it, you cook like your carrots, and you take the coloring, and then you cut it down to like a paste. Yeah, see there, that's a little better. Let's see how that is. When you use it like this, with well, I got too much water on my brush, that makes it like watercolor, so that's nice. Okay, so, let's get a different funnel here. We'll pour some in here. And see if we can't. I was wondering how you make black paint, and the idea is, and I don't, I don't believe it. I don't really try it when I'm painting similar, but it says if you take three primary colors, you mix them together, red, yellow, and blue, you will get black. Brown. It comes out brown. I don't know who's kidding who, but it does come out brown, but there you go. There you go. Yeah, that one, because that's a wide, I don't know, I think it's because it's a wide mouth container. That one went in. So you get the picture, right? You're going to paint a picture. We're going to keep on working. We're not going to keep you too long. Remember, you make paint, flour, water, salt. You can adjust the ingredients to the consistency you want. You can do... We're gonna make we're gonna keep going because I got stuff like I got a thing of paprika. I'm gonna try that. We're gonna try different things to see what it looks like to make all different different kinds of paint. But that's good. Flour, salt, water, cooking oil, and dish detergent. Some food coloring or the coloring of whatever natural source you want makes a tempera paint. Safe for the kids, safe for you, hours of fun, fun to make, fun to paint with, fun to recycle bottles with. Look at that. Gorgeous! So, that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Hope you have a wonderful Easter, if that's what you celebrate. I uh, hope you are enjoying the spring. We actually had snow today on, on uh, April 2nd, so we're still waiting. We're optimistic that we're going to get warm weather. It always comes every year. And uh, in the meantime, don't forget to write to hit subscribe button. Easy peasy. Boom. Hit the bell. Write in the comments. I subscribed. You don't have to, but if you want to win a prize, go ahead. I subscribe. You can see us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And we will see us on the next video for sure right and we going to just keep talking because where's that remote mondo to turn it off there it is okay until next time people bye bye